Hey guys, Mr. Poller here. In this video, I'll be showing an example of calculating gravitational force using Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. For this calculation, I picked the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter for data to analyze. The MRO is used to take high-resolution photographs and map the surface of Mars. Data about minerals present on the surface of Mars from the CRISM instrument of MRO was used to select Jezero Crater as the landing site for the Perseverance rover, which will look for evidence of ancient life on Mars. The MRO recently took images of the descent stage and Perseverance after landing at Jezero. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter launched in August 2005 and entered Mars orbit in March of 2006. The initial orbit was highly elliptical, with the orbiter at an altitude of 426 kilometers at its closest approach to Mars. Next, I'll show you how to calculate the gravitational force of the orbiter at the altitude of 426 kilometers above the surface of Mars. The first step is to identify the variables we will use in the calculation. F is the unknown. The gravitation constant G equals 6.6743 times 10 to the 11 newton meters squared per kilogram squared. M1 is the mass of Mars, 6.42 times 10 to the 23 kilograms. M2 is the mass of MRO, 2,180 kilograms. R is the radius of Mars plus the altitude of the orbiter. The radius of Mars is 3,376 kilometers plus the altitude of 426 kilometers for a total of 3,802 kilometers, which we need to convert to meters, so we will use 3.802 times 10 to the 6 meters. We will need to use the general form of the equation for Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. F equals G M1 M2 over R squared which I'll show using dimensional analysis style to show what happens to the units in the calculation. F equals G over 1 times M1 over 1 times M2 over 1 times 1 over R times 1 over R. I've showed R twice as a reminder that we need to divide by R squared. The next step is to substitute the known variables into the equation. 6.6743 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meters squared over kilogram squared times the mass of Mars, 6.4 times 10 to the 23 kilograms times the mass of MRO, 2,180 kilograms divided by 3.802 times 10 to the 6 meters the distance between the center of Mars and the center of the MRO, and finally dividing by 3.802 times 10 to the 6 meters a second time. To calculate the answer, I'm going to use the Google calculator. Let's enter the values. 6.6743 exponent minus 11 times 6.4271 exponent 23 times 2180 divided by 3.802 exponent 6 and then divide by 3.802 exponent 6 a final time. We find an answer of 6459.17. Our final step is to evaluate our answer for units and significant figures. The mass of the orbiter is 2180 kilograms. Since this value has three significant figures, we need to report an answer with three significant figures. So the answer is rounded to 6.46 times 10 to the 3. We can see that the meters squared from the first fraction will cancel both meter units in the last two fractions, and that kilogram squared in the bottom of the first fraction will cancel the kilogram units in the second and the third fractions. The remaining unit is newtons, so the final answer is 6.46 times 10 to the 3 newtons. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please use the comment section below if you have a question or would like to leave me a note. Until next time, stay curious.